All right, so let's say that this connector is fully done. We've added all the endpoints and the streams as well as the user inputs and the global configuration is all set to go. How do we publish this to our workspace so that we can use this? It's very, very simple. All you have to do is click publish to workspace at the very bottom. You can add a description and our connector name. We can go ahead and click publish to workspace and that's fully published this connector over into our workspace. Obviously you can edit this later at a different time and then republish a different version by, you know, loading a configuration when, as we add different versions to it. So now that we've published this connector over into our workspace, what we can do now is set it up as a source. So we're gonna go over to our sources tab. On the top right, we're gonna click new source. And by default, the community and certified filters will be active. So the easiest way to find it is obviously uncheck them, leave the custom one checked. And down here, you can see all the different custom connectors that we've created. I've created a couple, but the one we want is going to be Stripe. So if I go ahead and click this, I can now rename this the source name. If we want to be Stripe connector, if we wanted it to be. Now we have the API key text input this, that is required, as well as the customer optional field. So what I will do now is go ahead and grab my secret key, plug it into the API key section on the customer side we can do the same thing that we did where we did name quote Justin and then we're gonna click set up source and what that's going to do is obviously make some calls to the endpoint if we're getting 200s back then we know that we've set up this connector successfully to the source and obviously that's passed so now it's gonna kick us over into the setup where we can create a connection now if I create a connection I have a couple sources that we have already set up which I can definitely just click and and start sending data over to so I mean if I just selected my destination BigQuery, it will configure that connection. And from there, we're off to the races where we can now send data from our custom Stripe connector or any API that you've used over into a destination. I can sync over these two tables here where it's gonna be customers as well as our specific customer and then go ahead and click sync. But that is how you can create a very simple API using the connector builder in Airbyte.